I'm excited for him to get this recognition. I think a lot of people know Bob, especially at this particular event where this video is being shown as your dynamic and wonderful MC for so many years. And I like that a lot of people are gonna find out just how deep and committed he's been to advance the credit union movement. He's like a giant teddy bear, but it's authentic. He's just a genuinely wonderful human being. Well, I have to tell you that I am one blessed dude. I have been able to work at, I would say, almost every level of the movement. I've been very, very fortunate. And it has been so enriching to me as a human being and as a, as a person, not to mention my career. Bob Schumacher was one of those individuals that could almost make gold out of anything he touched. He brought people together, he found common purpose, and then found a way to make it possible. No was not in Bob's vocabulary, and that's what we appreciate and love and will always remember about Bob Schumacher. I think the one thing that uh, he should be extremely uh, proud about, in addition to his work on the Foundation Board and Biz Kids and development of CIF, through the DE program, all of those kinds of things, in developing emerging talent in the credit union system with a particular focus on teaching the credit union philosophy is going to leave a legacy of future leaders for credit unions. One of the most exciting things of, that I experienced when I was on the, the uh, National Credit Union Foundation board was the birth and development of the Community Investment Fund or the CIF. I made that my project to help that fund grow because it was such a great cause and benefited both state and national foundations. Bob did a lot of work with me in the Philippines for the Q's Philippines program, a program of the World Council in the 90s and the early 2000s. We started a foundation together called the Credit Union Trainers for Empowerment. And what's exciting today is that 15 years later, that foundation is still training credit union professionals to lead in the marketplace throughout the Philippines. And that's Bob Schumacher bringing change through joy and love of what you do. Bob and I served as mentors for the DE program. And in 2009, the USD program was held in Delavan, Wisconsin. A participant of that program was Melvin Edwards. Bob happened to be Melvin's mentor. Melvin's project was to take the DE program to the Caribbean region. And Bob was instrumental in helping us achieve that project. When the program got into the sphere of youth leadership development, Bob was there again, this time in St. Vincent in the Grenadines. He is just somebody who exudes love. He is so, so sincere and so warm and so giving that all you can do is just you know, hug him tight and say, thank you, congratulations. Biz Kids, when I say that, my stomach still shivers a little bit and my, my eyes tear up and uh, I get all excited all over again. It didn't take two seconds for me to say, you know what, this just feels right. This is something we should work for. This is something we should fight for. This is something we should go after and be supportive of. I always feel that without Bob's commitment, the, the dream of Biz Kids may never have been realized. This show has not only reached 96% of the public television market in two and a half months uh, back in 2008, but went into commercial syndication last year for the first 26 episodes and is doing well. We're in over 200 markets now, and we're reaching about 10 million students annually. He's just been very passionate and committed to the project from the get-go and somebody that I just admire his passion for life and for the credit union movement. The Paragon Group got founded in the middle 90s. We wanted to provide consulting services for credit unions. Bob really specialized in some of the smaller credit unions. He always wanted to help them out and he would often do it pro bono. He wouldn't charge him for it. I used to always tell him, Bob, you're killing me here. <laughs> Yeah, but, but he uh, always felt strongly about making sure that they were successful and uh, always did a nice job of helping them out. He's just been a, an incredible advocate for credit unions throughout all of his life. Hats off to you, Bob, for this recognition of your inspirational career. 
You've had an impact on every corner of the credit union movement, especially through your remarkable work with credit union leadership programs, both in the U.S. and abroad. Bob, Shu, congratulations. As a fellow DE, I am so incredibly proud of you winning this honor. I want to thank you for being a mentor to me and a friend throughout the years. And I wish you all the best and congratulate you really from the bottom of my heart on this tremendous honor. He had worked through all the credit union organizations for so long that I think he just wanted a nice little, not easy, but a nice little spot where he could sort of finish out his career as a CEO type person. I think he, in the background, I think he always wanted to be in charge. <laughs> this award to me is overdue. It's the icing on the cake as far as his credit union career is. And so, honor well deserved. I miss him. He just, uh, I don't know, I just sort of uh, appreciated him very much. When you touch lives, they touch you back. And when that happens, magic happens. So if you have a chance to work with, with fantastic people, my first inclination is to shut up and listen. Learn, emulate those that make a difference in your life. Use them as an example. And I think that the best way to describe what I hope happens with me and the people that I work with and those that I have touched and who have touched me is that on my gravestone, the epitaph will read, he helped a lot of people. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Credit Union Foundation is proud to honor Bob Schumacher with the 2015 Herb Wagner Memorial Award for Lifetime Achievement.